Hello everyone. Folk tales have been enriching our culture and heritage since times immemorial and have helped a lot in inculcating the values of life in us. Today, I Kapila am going to read an Iranian folk tale which would help us imbibe the values of humility and honesty. Let us begin with story the shepherd's treasure in a village in iran there once lived a shepherd shepherd is a person who rears sheep okay he was very poor he didn't have money he was very poor he did not have even a small cottage of his own cottage is a small hut of his own small house also he did not have that he had never been to school or learned to read and write for there were very few schools in those days so the number of schools that was very less and because of that he could not go to school and study though poor and uneducated this shepherd was very wise he understood people's sorrows and troubles if somebody was there in a trouble if somebody was very sad and something wrong had happened he understood it and helped them face their problems with courage and common sense many people came to him for advice so like supposing something goes wrong with me and i am very unhappy and i don't know what to do so i will go to the shepherd and he will guide me so that kind of a person he was he would give me courage to fight with that problem so he was very helpful soon he became famous for his wisdom and friendly nature the king of that country heard about him and thought of meeting him disguised as a shepherd and riding on a mule one day the king came to the cave where the wise shepherd lived disguises when you put on mustache and beard and you wear something you hide your own self you are not what you are supposing i am a woman and what i do is that maybe i put a mustache over here and i become a man and i wear those clothes and then so i have disguised like a man so similarly the king also wore different clothes and he disguised as a common man he did not wear the kingly robes he didn't wear the uh, very you know expensive clothes he very simply he dressed himself he disguised and then he came to that shepherd's cave because the shepherd lived in a cave as soon as the shepherd saw the traveler coming towards the cave he rose to welcome him he rose as he got up when somebody comes to our home we don't keep on sitting no we get up and we welcome so similarly the shepherd also did the same he took the tired traveler inside the cave gave him water to drink and a share of his own mere meal very small very frugal meal that he had very little meal that he had he was not having so many kinds of food like dal and vegetable and sweet and uh, roti no he didn't have that very few maybe a little meal whatever a chapati and maybe pickle or one vegetable or chapati whatever little he had he offered that meal that is mere meal the king rested for the night in the cave and was greatly impressed by the shepherd's hospitality and wise conversation so what is hospitality when somebody comes to our place a guest comes then we welcome we offer food and all this is termed as hospitality and wise conversation he had very wisely he was talking very good talks he was doing with the king though still tired the king decided to depart the next morning the king decided that he would go away next morning but he was very tired right then also he thought no he would go he said many thanks for your kindness to a poor traveler i have a long way to go permit me to leave so the king also very humbly he took the permission of the shepherd that he had to go very long distance and that is why he wanted to leave looking straight into the eyes of his guest the shepherd replied thank you your majesty for paying me the compliment of a visit so the king was surprised because what he said the shepherd thanked 
the majesty so he had recognized that he was the king and the king was really very happy seeing that the shepherd was able to recognize him and was thanking him that he had paid a visit to him the king was astonished surprised as well as pleased but he was happy also he is indeed very wise he thought to himself i need people like him to work for me and the king appointed this humble shepherd the governor of a small district why he appointed him the governor of a small district because he thought that these people these kind of people the ones who are very wise they should be there working for me so this is the reason why he appointed him as the governor of a small district governor is maybe the one who governs the one who takes care of the small district that was given by the king although he rose to power and dignity rose to power means he had got power now he had got dignity everyone was respecting him now he was at a high position the shepherd remained as humble as ever but the shepherd did not change he did not become become proud and all he was very humble only people loved and honored him for his wisdom sympathy and goodness he got the money he got position then also the shepherd did not change he was the same shepherd who had very good feelings for all the people had sympathy for the people and that is why the people they respected him they honored him he was kind and just to one and all he was very kind and just just is fair the one who has done bad is going to get a punishment who hasn't done so he was very just to everybody his fame as a fair and wise governor spread throughout the country so because he was so good his name and fame spread throughout the country everybody came to know about him oh this a governor he's so good so everybody knew his name Now the governors of the other provinces grew terribly jealous of him and began to talk to the king against him this only happens no when a teacher also makes one favorite child what happens is the other children they start coming and saying ma'am no no ma'am he's such a bad boy this and that people start becoming jealous so similarly here also the same thing happened he had become so popular that the other governors they became jealous of him they said he's very dishonest and keeps for himself part of the money that he collects as tax from the people so this is what they told the king they told the king that he's dishonest and whatever money he collects as tax from the people he keeps some money from that money for himself so he steals your money he told the king that why did he always carry with him they added an iron chest perhaps he carried in it the treasure that he had secretly collected they also told the king that all the time he carried an iron chest with him why did he do so he must be putting all the treasure there secretly all the money he had collected that treasure he must have kept secretly very quietly he had kept there after all they said mockingly he was an ordinary shepherd and could behave no better so mockingly they they made fun of him oh he's just a shepherd no that is why he's behaving so badly he's stealing the money this and that all sorts of talk those people started making the other governors because they were jealous of him at first the king did not pay attention to these reports but how long could he ignore these governors and their endless stories about the shepherd one thing was certain the king discovered the new governor did carry an iron chest with him all the time so now every now and then everybody was coming and telling the king he's dishonest this that they were speaking all sorts of things so the king could not uh, ignore this the king had to listen to the words of those governors and he also found that every time he was carrying an iron chest So one day the new governor was summoned summoned is he was called the king called the new governor to the palace he came riding on his camel and to everyone's delight the famous iron chest was there fastened securely behind him on the camel's back so when he was called there to the palace everyone was happy they were in delight they were happy that oh the 
governor has come and he has the iron chest that is fastened that is tied to the back of the camel on which he rode and came now the king was angry he thundered he scolded he shouted why do you always carry that iron chest with you what does it contain in anger he shouted the governor smiled he asked his servant to bring in the chest how eagerly the people standing around waited for the shepherd to be found out now everyone was so eager they were wanting that yes now he will open the chest and they will see the treasure they would they would see the jewels there and then he will get punishment they were all very happy so they were all waiting let us see what is there inside the chest but how great was their astonishment but when the chest was opened they were all astonished they were surprised and even of the king himself when the chest was opened no gold or silver or jewels but an old blanket was all that came out blanket is a sheet that we woolen sheet that we uh, put on us when it is cold so that he had inside that chest and it was old holding it up proudly the shepherd said this my dear master is my only treasure i always carry it with me so now it was not uh, understood by anyone why a blanket could be the treasure and why he carried it always but why do you carry such an ordinary blanket with you surely you are the governor of a district the king asked so the king also wanted to ask this question why every time you carry this blanket with you to which the shepherd replied with quite dignity this blanket is my oldest friend it will still protect me if at any time your majesty should wish to take away my new cloaks so because he had become a governor he was given good clothes and a cloaks huge long long robes he was given coats he was given and if the majesty any time became angry and took away everything this old friend would still be there with him it was his oldest and the truest friend how pleased the king was and how embarrassed the jealous governors became to hear the wise man's reply now they knew that the shepherd was indeed the humblest and the wisest man in the land they were all embarrassed they could not do anything they had spoken a lie about him so that is why they got humiliated and embarrassed there and they knew that he was the most humblest man and the most wisest man the king made him the governor of much bigger district that very day so that day only the king made him the governor of a much bigger district right earlier to he was the governor of a small district but now he became the governor of a bigger district so he got the reward of being very humble and being very hospitable to people and having sympathy towards people and for not changing and being honest so all these values he had in him and that is why he got that reward now let us do the question answers question 1 the shepherd hadn't been to school because answer is there were very few schools in those days it's an mcq there are three choices and second one is the right answer question 2 who visited the shepherd one day and why the king of the country visited the shepherd one day because his name and fame had reached far and wide so he wanted to test the wisdom of the shepherd question 3 why did the other governors grow jealous of the shepherd the other governors grew jealous of the shepherd because people honored him respected him and his name and fame grew larger than those governors question 4 why was the new governor called to the palace the new governor was called to the palace because the other governors the jealous governors they had told the king that he always carried an iron box in which he kept the money that he stole from the collection of the tax from the people question 5 
Why was everyone delighted to see the iron chest on the camel's back? Everyone was delighted to see the iron chest on the camel's back because they thought when the chest would open, there would be jewels and coins in it and the king would punish the shepherd. Question 6. What did the iron chest contain? Question 6 has got three parts. I am doing first part first. So first part is what did the iron chest contain? The iron chest contained an old blanket. Part 2. Why did the shepherd always carry it? The shepherd always carried it. It will be I-E-D. Carried. Carry becomes carried. The shepherd always carried it because it was it old, its oldest, his oldest and truest friend. And it would not go away even after the king would become angry and take away his noble robes. Third part. Is it an example of the shepherd's humility or wisdom or both? Now this is an example of humility and wisdom both. Question 7. How did the king reward the new governor? The new governor was rewarded by making him the governor of a much bigger district. This was a story which will help us imbibe the values of humility, honesty and having sympathy towards others. We would meet in some other video with some other such story. Till then, take care.